Okay, well, we're starting with some toilet designs, and I've got a few builders to help me with this. First of all, I've got Galgo, and oh my goodness, he's not wearing any pants again, so boom, there you go. We're going to give him some pants, and hopefully he's going to build us a toilet. There we go, it looks a lot better. <laughs> That's just a little bit more pleasant to look at that's for sure okay this toilet design starts with um gog -gog getting his act together no it starts with these quartz stairs upside down back to back one more on top facing the wall then a little banner there to represent the toilet lid and that's a beautiful toilet design right off the bat to get us started so well done gog -gog. okay the next one we have arranged for you is by wjr come on then buddy there you go and this one is super clever because it uses the actual wall. Now, of course, you need to realize that it could be something behind that wall, but um, by putting a little inset of snow into the wall there, that creates uh, an, an illusion, like you've got a little toilet lid hanging up right there, uh, open, ready for <coughs> business, so to speak. Anyway, next we've got Abla, who's got a really cool design. This one's got its own custom wall to it, um, using some blocks of coal see what Abla comes up with. Okay, quite a traditional toilet here. We've got a couple of sandstone stairs back to back, one big sandstone block on top. Um, here, this was quite cunning. I don't know if I can show you exactly what happened here. We've got a, a button and then we need a, an item frame like this. I guess I should have shown this as it was being built. And then you put the pillared quartz right in it just like that and that makes you the, the toilet paper okay so here we've got uh, Gal Gal with his pants on and he's going to design us with uh, a backing of chisel quartz this time another uh, toilet hopefully <laughs> I guess that's the bathroom cabinet right there that's really nice I guess and here comes a toilet very simple design this time to simply quartz there with a wooden pressure plate on top and that's pretty much it it is a super simple design and this is one of my favorite designs um, I've used this an awful lot okay what do we have next WJR coming to the rescue and this is another favorite design of mine in fact this is what I've been using an awful lot a hopper with a wooden pressure plate on top and a little flush button there nice so that's given us one two three four five toilets so far let's see what's next here we go, who's next? Aha, it's Abla, here we come, and there we go. That is it, guys. Um, it's quartz stairs with a banner, and I use this mostly in my um, modern houses. I think it's a really neat design, indeed. Okay, so now we're on to sinks, and this is a design which is definitely doable by everyone. Trapdoors, iron trapdoors go straight onto the wall like that. And this is a double sink design, so it would look very nice in a nice big mansion um, with the tripwire hooks sitting above the sink, so I'm loving that. So we've had five toilets, now we're onto some sink designs. Abla is next. Now Abla's gonna make us another sink design, and this is a really cunning design. Do you see what he's done here? Hopefully you did. We've got one block that was just placed like that and another block at the side and then a solid block there. And that makes kind of a one and a half block sink design. I really do like that indeed and finished off with a couple of details. Oh, these are much bigger sinks. So again, a good tip in your bathroom is to have a kind of a featured wall and packed ice is a really nice featured wall. And you can see what's happened here with the sinks. They've gone kind of back to back, just like that facing each other. And <clears throat> A quite amazing uh, design here with these banners. I will put the the, um, the ingredients for this banner. What do you call it? The the, uh, the algorithm, whatever you need. The pattern, the instructions <laughs> for this mirror banner into the description, so you can build this mirror banner uh, on your own as well. But a fine double sink there. Okay, so this uh, is the second last sink design, I think. And WJR is in the hot seat again i'm going to look from above and really see what he's doing here so we've got two turn stairs two kind of ordinary facing stairs quartz blocks in the middle so it looks like this is a double sink design oh i remember this one this is really cool um we've got little levers representing the taps face to face stairs turn stairs that makes kind of another one and a half block sink i guess we've seen this before but uh, a double sink is really bonny and with a mirror in the in the middle and a couple of towels there i think that's pretty good what you might want to add maybe is some ladders or something to represent towel rails uh, rails which don't actually have a banner on it as well but that's a beautiful design so i'm loving that okay last sink design abla is up at the batter's plate what she, is he going to come up with um 
We've got a little uh, signpost there. Okay, a little bit of detail, towel, and a couple of quarts. So it looks like hoppers are particularly useful when building bathrooms. They could be toilets and they can be sinks. Okay, so we move on to shower designs and here is Abla again. Let's take a good close look at what uh, he is doing. Okay, so we have a iron trap door in the corner and some, what is this under here? This is just a quartz, a block of quartz and then simply light gray stained glass to contain the shower. Super simple design, absolutely love it. Well done, Abla. Let's move on to design number two. Ah, slabs. What you could do with these slabs here is just uh, change the, the floor at the back there. That's right, he's, he's moving that down. Um, like that, okay. Let's just watch and see what happens with this nice shower design. Hmm. Okay, so that's probably where the shower is gonna be. He's got a couple of layers of snow in there. If you don't have snow melting, that's obviously gonna be handy. I don't think there's many um, lights placed around here, but uh, yeah, this is quite a nice design. We've got a, a shower curtain made of black stained glass coming in just like this. Um, but that's made a, a, a nice walk-in shower, just like that, little lever there, easy peasy design. A nice feature wall made of granite as well. That's a bonny looking shower. <laughs> He's topping it off a little flower in a pot. Okay, uh, the flower didn't appear, but never mind. Okay, moving on to the third design. Okay, so this design really works hard at the floor to make a nice variation in the floor. Oh, and it's even got a drain. That is super clever. Do you see what he did there? Let's put that bit facing in the way and then turn that one. Oops, face that one like that. Is that right? Is that right? I don't know. I hope, hopefully that's right. But yeah, we've got a little drain there in the shower and the rainforest shower again, right above iron trap door and a lever. So yeah, I'm liking that shower design. Okay, so we've got three. Then we're gonna go for one more and then a double shower. Let's see who's next. Aha, it is the master builder, one of the guardians on my server, Abla. If you do wanna come onto my server, the link is in the description to my website. And on that website, you can apply for guest and the guest is called Padawan. And also you can download my texture pack. I'm just using default in this episode, but maybe at the end I'll have a fly past uh, these designs in my texture pack and you can see what that looks like as well. Okay, so fourth, yeah, what fourth shower design coming up. We've got diarrhea out on the floor, blocks of quartz, and looks like a pretty straightforward design. Just boxing in the shower nicely with some black stained glass. That makes a really nice cubicle effect a really nice shower cubicle and you could imagine that with the ceiling on top that would be absolutely no problems whatsoever a little bit of carpet to finish it off and uh yeah beautiful design that is an awesome shower ah oh, look at this we've even got kind of a an indication we've got some sort of door wrapping around the shower with some signage on there and i think he's even putting a towel hanging up as well so awesome design a lot of these showers and uh, toilets and baths and sinks were designed by builders on the server <laughs> Golgol was waving at us we're moving on he's lost his pants oh so we've got a stepped wall kind of a privacy wall stepped wall design so that's pretty smart actually and then again using stained glass black stained glass full panes and then switching into just panes for sorry full blocks and then panes ah and we have uh, an indication of a door with iron bars going in between the glass there that looks really smart indeed okay so just to finish off the shower design details here um oh so the panes go flicking over the top like that it's pretty smart We've got a little shelf there for your towel maybe your clothes can sit on that as well and again a bit of detail on the floor this time hoppers and a sign to represent maybe the, the control panel and you could easily put on that sign you could put zero and off and on and and, and so on and a little lever to represent the nozzle loving that design okay moving on to that's so that's five showers plus now we've got um i guess i can help these guys because i, I kind of know what's coming up here we need some lapis in the ground like that i'm maybe going to put these guys off if i help up too much Lapis, 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 lapis. So a nice big area of lapis to start. This is a, again an enormous 
that show are really from some of the, the, the biggest the biggest houses that you would build. I think we'll actually go for some glowstone underneath these slabs, actually, just to create a little bit of a, a lit effect. Because light does come through slabs. There we go. So, the bathroom's taking shape, all four of us building at this time. We've got um, a ceiling coming up as well. Um, and what's this block here? Okay, yes, we've got a sea lantern there to create a little bit of light. So this is a double walk-in shower. You come in, you've got light from the sea lanterns. We need to build up this back wall. It doesn't take long, the four of us. Almost arguing whoever's playing the, placing the blocks there. So plenty of shelves. We've also got some towel rails and the banners representing the white towels on top. Gol Gol has forgotten what to do. No, he hasn't. There we've got the, the thermostatic controls. We're putting them down by one block, I think, like that. Um, on off switches and thermostatic controls for the shower. Um, I think this block here should probably be stone as well. Um, what is this? Yeah, polished and the site uh, to represent that wall. So that, that tucks away down there beside the slabs and that one finishes off like that. And on the ceiling, we've got our shower nozzles, just simple levers placed on the ceiling and flicked like that. So yeah, double walk-in luxury, his and her showers. Awesome designs, <laughs> these guys are taking a rest, they've been working hard. Okay, to finish our little series off, we've got three bath designs. First one is easy, but um, this is kind of a, a standard Minecraft bath, four blocks long, we've got a little rubber ducky there, a rubber ducky head. Uh, I'll try and find out what head that is and put it in the description. But a um, little bit of wood wrapping around the bath and yeah, I like that design. It's nice and modern, it's refreshing. Um, and a lot of people do that for baths, but they don't put this little wooden shelf around it as well. And we've got some uh, bath salts and bubble bath and whatnot right there. And also a shower as well. So on, on this bath, you could actually get pretty fancy as well if you wanted to have an integrated bath with shower screen, you could do something like that as well. So if you're gonna have a shower, um, you could do that as well. I do like that, it's a pretty nice design, um, but it incorporates a bath and a shower at the same time. Loving that, okay, moving on, who's next? Let's see what they've got, it's Abla up to bat, and we're starting with some slabs sticking out from the wall, okay. Then we're switching on to quartz stairs, looks like carving out a bit of a bath there oh that's pretty cool see how that was a bottom slab and it's a top slab that works out nicely got a little feature wall there a kind of a runoff area or a nice feature at the back of the shower sorry a bath right there hmm okay so this is a, a absolutely enormous bath it's the thing that's the first one that's three wide that we've seen really um, and there's the, the nozzle to fill the bath um, and a couple of towels on the side so if you've got a big luxurious mansion, that would fit in really nicely. This is for a more compact suburban type house, which I've just broken. Never mind. Oh, Andy, what have you done? Right, let's move on. We've got, um, I think, a corner bath to finish off. And Gol Gol's lost his pants again. Um, I guess he is in the bathroom. So we'll give him a bit of an excuse. So let's look at from the top exactly what's happening. I'm using CUDA shaders, by the way, which is by default might look a little bit different from normal. So we've got a slab like that, so three slabs, two slabs, two slabs, and one slab, and then wrapping round with the quartz stairs, and we've got a, a nice fancy uh, bath mat with a little rubber ducky. And um, what we could do is be really clever and get some blue wool and stick it under the uh, rubber, rubber ducky like that. And yeah, so there we go, corner bath. Actually looks pretty decent, I think. One, two, one, two, and then one, to turn to the side so you can look at that from above and you can memorize that and use that in your corner bath so yeah awesome designs okay just before i go i'm going to show you what happens when you use a texture pack this is the utb texture pack downloadable from a link in my description and i've let these guys who helped me gal gal wjr and abla build their own bathroom so this one is by abla and you can see with the introduction of a texture pack and some of the designs that we've already seen today, we can build beautiful looking Minecraft bathrooms. So Abla, you've got a shower, bath, a toilet, little cabinet there, made of soul sand, beautiful, beautiful. And even 
a very clever design. A little skylight that shines a little bit of uh, light down onto the bath, as long as someone uh, mending the roof doesn't doesn't look at you when you're in the bath. So this is um, by Gogol, who is also on YouTube, Gogol1111. So be sure to look him up. Beautiful big blue carpet at the front here. I like this uh, kind of cabinet design. We've got a, a floor, a glass floor which you step up onto. So it's a half slab, then you step up onto the full slabs of glass, and you can see this little fish tank under there, and a really amazing sink design because there is a mirror. So how does he do that? Well, it's very clever. You might have seen this before in Minecraft. He has created a mirror image room right the way through there. You've got to make sure you've got room to do that. What's he got around here? Okay, this is a toilet. <laughs> He's never gonna run out of toilet paper. He's got 18 spare rolls and we've seen this design before as well or maybe not because that's got a little slab underneath there so that's another cool toilet design and i think he's got something a bit crazy of, over here yeah you, he's even got beer so you guys make your mind up about that crazy uh, bathtub and um, we've got a design over here i guess this is by wjr very atmospheric as you walk into it nice black stained clay walls he's got a hopper sink um, he's used little slabs of snow, or layers of snow with a grey carpet on top and again we've seen this before, the light coming through the slabs, really really very clever indeed. Hmm. We do have a big bush in the shower, I'm not sure why that's there but I do love the bathroom and a nice wall divider or separator beside the toilet as well and again light can come through underneath layers of snow so again a very good lighting technique that makes it look like a beautiful corner well thank you very much to wjr golgo and abla for helping me build these uh, bathrooms i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode please leave some feedback in the comments for what you thought and um, i'll have a quick fly over here and you can see some of the, the prototypes and designs we were working on in the lead up to this video it's been super fun to make i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, please hit that thumbs up button if you did and we'll see you guys very shortly for another video take care i mean the blocks be with you